It's hip hop at lunch. We're here with Duro. How's it going, man? Alright, man, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Just out here in Brooklyn right now, mixing and mastering my album. We just finished it, you know what I'm saying? 15 tracks, everything mixed and mastered, and uh, get big. The album dropped August 31st, so right now we're just getting in. That's what's up, man. I've been seeing uh, MTV giving you a lot of love, man. Oh, man. MTV Jam of the Week. Shout out to two man. MTV Jam. They've been showing real love, and uh, everybody been enjoying the video, so I'm just feeling good about that. That's what's up. Also, uh, 106 in Park yesterday, man. Yeah. Yeah, Real man, big. It was crazy that a lot of people don't know. Uh, I barely made it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was in Chicago last minute. You know, I found out that I was going to have to go walk the video on 106 and Park. So, you know, we flew out there. Barely made it to the set in time for me to walk out there dressed up and stuff and, you know, present the video. So, it worked out. That's so, dope. About that too. <laughs> yeah, man. Dr. Teeth made it real clean. Nice yeah. video. I wanted to ask about uh, hooking up with Nitty, though, for the track. Like, yeah. Minus Bring It Back with 8 Ball and MJG. This is really the biggest song he's had since Young Jocks. Uh, it's going down, mm -hmm. man. Can you tell us a little bit about how it all came about? It's crazy because, uh, you know, from the It's Going Down, like when I was coming up doing mixtapes, when I would download tracks, it would be a lot of nitty beats, you know what I'm saying? I used to tell my DJ, DJ Merck, my CEO, I'd be like, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I really fuck with this nitty cat, you know what I'm saying? His beats, you know, for these mixtape tracks, you know, I kind of like the vibe of them. You know, a lot of them simple, but the way I ride on them, it ended up working out. So, you know, it was crazy. Uh, man, what happened? Oh, we linked up. One time I was in Atlanta, and we linked up. And then, you know, he ended up sending me some beats in my email. And, you know, there had been been one. I got another record on my album called My Name. He sent, and it's going to be a big record, too. But, you know, I just laced up the track for my Gangsta Grills. You know, I, I did a Gangsta Grills back in February. Dropped it during the All-Star Weekend. And I laced up the track, and it ended up being the, one of the biggest records on the Gangsta Grills. It didn't even have a third verse. It really wasn't mixed, but everybody was just playing it. So... You know, people was coming to me, he was like, man, you need to make this a single. So, you know, I went back in the lab, added a little stuff, you know, we went and got it mixed and mastered. And then I told Nitty that, man, we might need to push it for a single. You know, we ended up putting it out, and, you know, it started getting a huge response, and it kind of took off on its own. Definitely, man. A lot of energy on that track, yeah. dude. So you got a trending topic. Oh, man, that was crazy. <laughs> I got, like, a worldwide trending topic for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> it was cool, though, because it was just out the blue and unintentional, you know what I'm saying? It was cool, but, uh... You know, uh, Twitter, you know, it's a new part of the game where a lot of people don't realize, it. like, you know, exposure, you able to you able to break some music on there, you know, put your links out, your fans download it, DJ grab your music, so it kind of gives you another access to your fans, and, you know, I really use Twitter to, you know, kind of express myself and just do what I do. Definitely. You have to use it like that for sure, man. Definitely. definitely. So you put it on for Dallas. I saw you got uh, yeah. Mark Cuban up there in that video. How'd you get that? Man, I, I honestly, it came together because he never been in the video. He definitely, you know, haven't been in a hip-hop video. And uh, what it was, shout out to Youngs. You know, I work with Youngs right now. I got a, you know, I'm branding. I got an exclusive deal with them. And uh, what it was, they real good people with Mark Cuban. And they told him when he coming up. And he was excited about doing it. So we planned around his schedule. It happened to be the day that we shot the video. Went up to the AA Center, you know, where the Mavericks hoop it. And, you know, we made it happen. That's what's shout up, man. Shout out to Mark Cuban. It was definitely good seeing him in that video. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So before uh, Get Big dropped, I saw you guys were shooting a video for a uh, hood chick fetish. You mm -hmm. still guys, you guys still gonna release that? We're gonna or, release what's going it. on? Uh, August first, August second. You know, we're gonna release it, and uh, we kind of just sat on it because we wanted to put Get Big out first. What I did was because I hood chick fetish is probably gonna be a bonus track on my album, and you know we didn't really want to emphasize the video before Get Big, so we waited till we drop Get Big. Now that it's out. We put immediately follow up and put our hood chick fetish featuring Yo Gotti, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Definitely, yeah, I know that song is doing good in Dallas, man. I mean, it's like <laughs> the biggest song in Dallas, it's crazy, because that was on the Gangsta Grills, too. You know, those two tracks that came, I shot the DJ drum, you know, because uh, we put the Gangsta Grills together, and the song ended up researching off that mixtape, so uh, that's one of the tracks we're going to put out, I and mean, it's going to make the album. That's what's up, dude. So I saw you tweeting about being in the studio with Jim Jones last yeah. night, long studio <sighs> session. Jim Jones, a character, we was in the studio probably about six hours, you know, we, <laughs> and, you know, we were just knocking out a verse, but, you know, I kind of find that it's, it's crazy because every artist got their niche to record, and, like, even me, myself, everybody got their niche, and, you know, his niche is, you know, you want to get a verse from him, you got to sit in the studio with him all night, you know, he listen to the beat <laughs> over and over, you know, he vibe to it, you know, he might smoke a little bit or whatever, chill, then he go in the boot and, you know, come up, he don't write, you know, he don't write it out, so he come up with his thoughts, Go back, he might fall asleep for an hour, <laughs> get back up, and then just go get in the boot and lay it down, you know, and just keep on going through it until he get it out, knock it out one time, do an ad lip track, and then, you know, it's a fire. And what's throw is he come up with a throw verse, like he killed the verse, so 
Shout out to Jim John when we was in the studio out and I got bags in my eyes. <laughs> but now they deal with the deal though. Yeah, man, it sounded crazy. You said he had money all over the floor and stuff? Man, walking out, they got money all over the floor. But I, I kind of expected that from Jim John. <laughs> they kept well, you know what I'm saying? Anytime that, you know, from the beat to the woods, any encounters we can hear, you know, he wild out. You know, he real comical dude and, you know, his personality is crazy. But walked in there, his money all over the floor, <laughs> everywhere. That's what's up. So I heard the track uh, Main Event with Chameleon Air, man. Yeah. And it has you, Chameleon Air, Slim Thug, Paul Wall. Paul Wall yeah. I wanted to ask, like, what's that like? Because when they were all on top of the game, that was about the time that you were really starting your starting, rap. Definitely, definitely. Man, and all those, you know, they really, even though they're still young, they like Texas legends, you yeah. know, in the game right now, even though they're still doing their thing. And to be, you know, even amongst them, you know, reached out. Like, Chameleon Air reached out to me. He wanted me to put a verse on that, which I did. And, you know, to even get reached out from somebody who I feel like is one of the best artists from our way, you know, and even a strong artist in the game to reach out to me, wanting a version uh, for, you know, his song. You know, I just thought that was special. So I was like, man, I'm going to lace this track. You know, I'm going to make sure I keep the energy up on the track and I'm going to come with it, you know, which I feel I did. And, you know, the, the people love, you know, the, the verse I did on there. They love the whole record. So shout out to Cam. You know, his album, you know, coming whenever it drops, is going to be huge. Make sure y'all look out for it. Definitely. So before we go, man, what should we expect on Get Big? I was talking to Diamond. She said you guys have a track. Might be the next single or something. Yeah, actually, uh, we, uh, man, Diamond got, she got a track. Man, her did a track on my gangster grill. It's pretty big. It's called Quite Like Me. And we got another uh, track that I'm put out. You know, it's going to be a actually after the album. But it is a single type uh, record. So I want to make sure we put emphasis on it. And, uh, man, August 31st, the album dropped 15 tracks, some bonus tracks. It's big. I'm giving you all a lot of criteria. You know, I'm not just giving you 10 tracks. You know, I'm giving you at least 10, 11 singles. You know, it's just, man, this this record is, this album is topping my last album by three. You feel me? So I put a lot of hard work in it, and I just appreciate everybody that's going to go out and support it.